guys. We are out here today in northern Wisconsin with professional guide Tom Boley doing a little bit of musky fishing. Make sure you stay tuned and check out some more of the action. All right guys, so we're pulling up to musky spot here and we got a lot going on on this image right here. So off the left here, we have 100% soft bottom and we're gonna be casting off the right side of the boat. So all our structure at this point is off to the right. So it's really easy to use side imaging to kind of run a spot like this. Now I'm gonna kind of come up over the spot and right now we're right on the top of this reef. You can see it comes up real quick from five to basically 13 feet. And that's basically the kind of spots you wanna be looking for. You wanna be fishing spots, if you are gonna fish shallow, spots that have deep water very close. And in this lake, 13, 15 feet, that's pretty deep. So we're about to come off the edge of this hump here. And uh, you, know, you can see we got all these weeds up top here. I'm gonna kinda of show you what the sweet spot of this spot would look like. And it's these sweet spots out on the edge of these kind of humps. The weeds de are dead or are non-existent basically once you get deeper than about seven feet of water. And now we're coming down kind of the tail of this hump. It's kind of an extension that comes off it here. And you can see we're in eight, nine, 10 feet and we got this big rock really on both sides of us right now. We're kind of going right down the middle of it. And this is the kind of spot where I'm expecting, especially in the dog days of summer for a muskie to be sitting. You know, here we're even farther off the edge, 15 feet, we got good depth here, and we got big rock right on the tail of this hump. So most of the time in the middle of summer, dog days of summer like this, hot and flat out, I'm not fishing right up on top in that five, four, three feet of water in the weeds. I wanna be fishing spots and really focusing on kind of the sweet spot just off the edge of a lot of these shallow structures. First thing in the morning here, pop in a big rubber bait. That thing just popped it. I'm gonna give him a walk around here. It's pretty well played out now. Oh, there he goes. I'll swing him back to you. There we go. Fish in the bag right away in the morning. Awesome. Can't beat that. During the summertime, it's critical to handle these fish with care. We made sure to minimize their time out of the water and give them plenty of revival time before they're released. We're taking a little break in our musky fishing day to come to you with a Tackle Logic segment. As always, we'd like to try to show you what we're doing on the water so that maybe you can go out and try it yourself and find some success. So Tom Boley is a professional guide here in northern Wisconsin. He's crazy knowledgeable on musky fishing and musky fishing in the summer can certainly be a challenge. So Tom's gonna sit down here with us and tell us a little bit about his favorite baits and how he targets these fish in the summer. All right guys, so real quick, we're gonna talk about some summer musky baits. Um, you know, bait's a tool, and in the summer we're fishing a lot of edge-relating fish. You know, fish basically, no matter where you fish them, go through the same progression. The spring and early summer, they're up shallow. They move a little bit deeper in the heat of the summer. And then in the fall or early fall, generally they end up back shallow again. So, you know, in the middle of summer, like this dog days of summer, we're fishing edge-relating fish. The edge of a rock bar, uh, the edge of a weed bed, the edge of some kind of piece of structure. So I like to have lures that can achieve a certain depth. You know, like I said, each lure is a tool. So, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff in this box. Some bucktails like this one, super lightweight. It's not going to go very deep. So that's not really one I'm picking to use in the summer most of the time. Most of the time I'm picking baits, like one you're always gonna wanna have is some kind of bigger soft plastic lure that you can rip around like we are today on the edge of some of these pieces of structure. Something that can get down there in that five to 15 foot zone like a big plastic swim bait could. The other kind of bait, it is musky fishing. We always wanna have some kind of bucktail. You know, whether it's a double bladed bucktail, a single bladed bucktail, but we want something with some weight. This one has a half ounce in it and we can slow roll this and no problem get this down five to 10 feet of water. So, um, you know, every single lure is a tool and if you're trying to get deeper, like we are in the middle of summer, we're not focusing on that one foot flat or focusing on the edge of stuff. So another bait you're always gonna wanna have is either some kind of jerk bait, um, some kind of, you know, 
crankbait type of thing, something you can snap around on that edge. Here's an old school suet um, with a little bit of weight tied into it to get it even a little bit deeper um, to, if you're working the edge of a piece of structure. So, you know, always have a soft plastic, always have some kind of bucktail, and then always have some kind of jerk bait. And it's pretty simple to uh, get out here and really target these muskies in the summer. Well guys, that's a wrap. We had a blast fishing with Tom Bowley in Northern Wisconsin, and we hoped you learned something about summer musky fishing in today's episode. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, head on over, check us out on Instagram, and hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you on the water next time.